Hello, today we're going to be making a fun game called Dot Escape. And this is a game where you have to use reaction like, uh, movements so you can catch the buttons. Or you can do the opposite and try to uh, dodge the buttons. Let's begin. First, we need to, we'll need to do this. And we'll be taking our button. As you can see, we've got our button. Now, we'll be using a fun thing called video sensing. This can be used for many different games to make them more interactive and interesting. We'll be putting this when video motion is greater than 10. And as you can see, it's quite a bit sensitive. You can even detect you quite easily if you blink. It's so it's so sensitive that even if you seem to not move, it can detect if you are even moving a tiny bit. So we need to change this at least to 20 or 30. We'll go for 20 right now, but you can adjust this as you like. Now, after this, we'll take switch costume to the chickpea. But, we need to get that costume. Costume. Animal. Now, we've got all of these sprites over here. Let's see which one we want to pick. Dinosaur 1C! As you can see, he's quite a bit tangled. Hmm. I wonder how he'll get out of that. We'll reduce the size to 50, which is half of its old original size. Then afterwards, we will go and do switch costume to the costume we want to really choose. And this one is going to be our dinosaur 1C. We also wanted to say hello. Hi dinosaur. Hi dinosaur. How are you? Having a fun time? Okay, now after this we'll have to do a broadcast message one. Now, why are we going to use broadcast you might be asking yourself. Because you can broadcast a message like you can communicate from sprites to one another but in this case we will be using the broadcast in a way that will not be using it to communicate with each other but to communicate to itself in a way so uh, only when this function is ran then it will make it will broadcast and it will receive itself and then you will hide because we don't want it to just you know, hide straight away. Our dinosaur one say hello, hi, done. We also wanted to stop the program, so it will just do a little bit. But you can test on that, that it might work as well. So we will do hide here, and we can go to control events and we'll take the, the one below stop all but if we do stop all it will stop 
every single one of the programs, which is definitely not what we want, including other sprites, this means. So, we just wanted to stop this script, definitely, but it will only stop the broadcast, uh, the when I receive script. We needed to, uh, rec uh, to stop all the scripts in this sprite, but not in ours. So we'll do all other scripts in this sprite. Then after that, we'll be taking a one click. We'll be taking video sensing. Set video transparency to 90. Now, why did we take 90? And why did we take video transparency? We did this so that we could uh, we could first of all make it a little more white so it doesn't show the camera's whole play and not the uh, and not properly the game so that's one way you can use it you can also use it just to create a filter white effect you can also use it for that way but it just uh, makes the it more transparent or less transparent let me demonstrate if you do higher value the less transparent it becomes 100 is the highest it makes it completely white now you can't even see so we better change it back to 90 i found out 90 was quite good and then after that i'll go to looks Go down, show, and this is only because if uh, we wanted to keep on showing after we have made it hide, we need it to show so we can see it. You can see it's already detected. Yes. As you can see, it hasn't detected me moving, but when I move towards it, it says hello and disappears. And doesn't come back even when we click the green flag. So, this is the reason why. Now, after this, we will then do another thing. We'll take control forever and take motion. And glide to random position and then after that it should be gliding all over the place now it's a little bit too in detecting so we may want it to raise it up to 30 now only when I move like this and it touches then it will only say hello it doesn't just at the very start even if you move onto it it will just do that it doesn't do it for the whole scene. If you wanted to do for whole scene, then you will want to do that on the stage, and then you can do that. Then after this, what we'll have to do is first we'll need to make it from this to switch back to the button. We don't want it to stay on dinosaur, just like we did with show and hide, but instead with Lux. Welcome. Which costume to button one? We will want to keep it here. Okay. Now you can, if you, it's more accurate if you come out of the camera view, uh, then uh, and don't move, then it's more accurate. And if you touch, then it will just say hello. Now, the reason for this is 
and that he you should if you are not um, moving your head then you if it comes even across onto your face then it won't detect you so that's what sensitivity is for you can make it more sensitive less sensitive we'll then make it like this make it resize tidy up our code a tiny bit so that it doesn't completely and we don't get lost and then after this our game is sort of done we have got it working we have got it moving but we don't want this we want more so we want to duplicate this another thing you can do is put the whole sprite in backpack but and duplicating is a, a, is a better way. Here you can put snippets of code. But since we duplicated, all of it is in here. And it looks no different from this. It has all the same properties. Now we'll get to costumes. And now let's say we want a... Sharpie little chicky. animals you can also search it but animals gives you a wider range takes some time to load and then we will take our chirpy our little chicky bee few a few tutorials back we used the same sprite chicky and uh, we learned how to group things together as well in another one grouped and now it's one whole sprite so now we can change it as much as we want now we'll come back to code and instead of switch costume to dinosaur 1c this is not there but since it's duplicated it just does the whole thing it doesn't check for this um, instead we'll just need to change it to check B now we'll do this multiple times and we'll also do you see okay now they're also a little bit too similar not only in this but in their button form they look very very similar we want to change it how do we do this hmm we take this paint bucket and we will take the saturation to full just looks nicer with it more take a uh, yellow because it also is like our chicky and put it in look we have a yellow button Good, let's see it in action. So I hit and hit, yep. And now we got our game here. We keep, you can do as many times as you want. You'll just have to do this a few times. We want four spreads, but we can do as many as you want. Costume, take out, get a bat. Let's say, I saw a bat up there. Let's see if we can get that. And then move down. And we have got our bats here. We may want to have, uh, since it's going to be a little bit surprising, so let's make our bat a little bit scary bat. Okay, we will then make it our size. We don't want it to be not our size. So just don't, don't. I like to do this group so you can move it as much. We'll go back to code. And we'll also then we'll have to change this 
to Betsy, change this button to a different color, which we wanted since it's a gray, so we want the saturation a little bit more brightness less. You can turn it on this side, but it isn't very good. So we can just do any color we like. We'll just put this, for example, put in here. Okay, now we got here. Or we could just take the brightness up a little bit and then put it. Now, this will be good color. Okay, now I might have activated all of them by moving. So, if you stay still. You can also do this as a staring contest. It's a good idea. Of using as a staring contest. That way you can see, how can you keep the balls from getting uh, unclosed? Hmm. Then, after that, we have got our third sprite ready. And we duplicate once again. Come back to costumes. Cross this out. Change this fill. But before we do that, of course we need to get our sprite. Animals. Take some time to load. Animals. And then we will take our beetle. Look, a rainbow like people. I mean, beetle. <laughs> beetle! <laughs> and then we'll take out all of these extra sprites that got in. And we have got our beetle right here. We've got our button right here, which we need to change the color off to something we haven't tried. Hmm, what is it? Blue and full, and we've got a blue button. Let's see now if we can get it all working. Then If you move your whole arm, it's a little bit cheating because then all of them, you just click in one go and it's all gone. So I recommend not to do that if you want to go nicely and fairly. Want to play. As you can see, I just clicked every single one of them. You can also try hiding from the dots. That's a fun game too. If you keep still. Okay, I moved a tiny bit. But if you keep still, it doesn't notice you. See, this is the reason why I think it's a good staring contest. As you can see, it worked and we've got our game fully operational. Let's try it. Let's make a full screen. And try it out. <laughs> yeah, and I got all of them. That's great. So now we have got our sprites, which we can enclose and unclose. And we have got our game ready. Okay. That's great. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!